It's a hard lesson to learn, and it's even harder to understand until you've gotten out in front. Mistakes fuel victories. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 634. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and I'm going to try to not be too philosophical because that's not me. That's not my jam. But the title of this podcast is Mistakes Fund Victories. And I had heard sayings like that five to 10 years ago, and I didn't really understand them. I didn't have the context that I have today. From 2008 till 2015, this was a small mom and pop marketing company. It was myself for a couple years and then myself and Ashley for five of those years. And then in 2015, I had the vision. I wanted to take our company from being a local marketing firm working with 30 to 40 businesses to a nationwide marketing firm working with a few hundred restaurants. And I didn't know what I didn't know. And from 2015 until 2020, we had a lot of bumps and bruises. We had clients that hired us and fired us for the right reasons, for the wrong reasons. We had great relationships. We had bad relationships. We had mistakes along the way of what we thought restaurants would need and want to find out that we actually were off base and we had to tweak what we were doing. But it wasn't until 2020 that we scaled up from the five or six people we had then to the 60 or so we have right now that I really understood what it meant. Because between 2020 to now, I have taken a lot of actions. And when I say a lot, I still shake my head to look back at the shit I've done and go, man, I have done a lot of stuff. I have tried a lot of things that have not worked. I have gotten my head bashed in on a lot of things that did not work. I have lost a lot of sleep over things that did not work. In fact... With all honesty, last May until this past March, we lost about a million dollars because of my mistakes. Now, those mistakes had to happen is the hard thing to really swallow. If you would have told me going into 2023, which I thought was going to be a breakout year for our company financially, if you had told me, I was going to have to lose a million dollars on the following 10 mistakes in order to get to the other side. I don't know that I would have taken the, the 10 steps in the million dollars. I would have probably backed off the throttle and thought of a easier, slower way to get where I wanted to go. But that's not what I did. And I also had no clue that was going to happen. I was naive, thought I had the answers, thought I knew the path. And the unfortunate thing was there wasn't a lot of people I could turn to to give me the answers. But as a friend recently told me, that was my tuition to the winning side. That if you don't use that million dollars, you never find the $10 million. Now that might be an unrelatable amount, but if you just take a tenth of it, it's not. I talked to a restaurant owner the other day that's looking at $100,000 that he failed on in his mind over the course of about six months that that's a hundred grand that if he hadn't done a b and c he would have in the bank and i feel his pain but i'm also like my guy if you don't lose that hundred on those attempts because that's what it was it wasn't like you started it to fail you took risks you made attempts to do something you thought was right that you didn't actually know wasn't right and now that you look back, yeah, it's easy to see, oh, I'm an idiot. Trust me, been there, done that more times than I care to acknowledge. But what happens is that's tuition. And what happens is once you get to the other side, once you find the victories and they pile up a little more than the losses, you start to realize you never would have gotten here without taking those risks. Now, here's one thing I will say. I come across people a lot in business. In six weeks, I will be in Miami, Florida for a marketing agency mastermind. There will be about 400 people there. 
Last time I was at the event, we were the number one company in the room. We'll probably be the number one company again this time, volume-wise. Not profit, volume. Profit's coming. But there'll be people there that'll ask me a question, and I'll give them the answer. They go, well, that didn't work for me. And I'll say, well, how many times did you try it? How often did you do it? How many times did you fail? Oh, once? Hold my beer. I failed 100 times trying exactly that. And that is a big lesson to really understand that, yes, mistakes fund victories. But you don't fund a victory with one mistake. You fund it with a shitload of them. And I will say that the restaurant business is one of the hardest businesses I've ever seen. It's competitive. It goes like a wave every single week. You're dependent on a few different classes of workers. And it is what it is. You're going to have those ups and downs. You're going to have those losses. You're going to have those mistakes. But if you do not take enough swings, you will not have enough mistakes to fund your victory. And you can't beat yourself up. I did that to myself a little too much last year, the end of the year. I remember Ashley telling me in our office, like, Matt, we get it. You messed up. You made these mistakes. It didn't go how you thought. It's behind us. We've already identified. Let's move forward. Let's look in the future at the victories that are coming and how we know to get there. And that was great advice she gave me. So thank you, Ashley, if you're listening. But we all have to understand those mistakes are coming. I'm going to have more mistakes. Yes, we're crossing a threshold in our business as we speak. In July through December of this year, should be a really big turning tide for us, especially as we launch our new sales driving platform, Driver. Yes, you heard me right. The new name is Driver, D-R-Y-V-E-R. Repeat returns and RMTW are now Driver. As we launch that this year, starting, I guess now, we're going to face more obstacles. And it's almost like when I ran track in high school. I was terrible at the hurdles, but somehow I was on the hurdles. I think, honestly, because they didn't have enough people to do the hurdles, so I got stuck on it. And I'm doing the 300 high hurdles, and I knew there were a certain amount of hurdles. I think it was probably around 15 or 20, if I had to guess. And I knew they were in front of me, and I knew I had to get over them, but I also knew I was going to hit some of them. I knew I would probably hit a few and fall on my ass and break my wrist like I did twice. A little bone right above my thumb. Didn't feel good. But I knew... That in order to stop failing at hitting the hurdles, I had to consistently keep trying to go over them until I got to a point, which I did that senior year of my high school, where I didn't hit any of the hurdles, where I ran a solid time, where I was smooth and things felt together. But I never would have gotten there had I not accepted the practice of hitting the hurdle and falling. My friends, it never ends. Because what's on the other side of the victory I have right now is going to come a whole nother set of hurdles. And it's the same with you. But all I got to do is tell you, keep your head up. That's all I got. So break time. I need a huge favor. Go to theheroesofhospitality.com and check out our brand new docu-series for 2024. We're creating eight episodes to chronicle the journey of our business, We're going to be traveling the country, telling your stories as it relates to growing your restaurant's marketing, and you're going to be able to see behind the curtain of what we're building, why we're building it, and how it will benefit the restaurant industry as a whole.